Hey everyone, I wanted to make a super quick tutorial on how to create a silhouette of your image in Canva. I honestly had no idea that I could do this in Canva itself and learning it was a complete game changer. So I thought I would make a super quick tutorial. So that way, if you are struggling to figure out how to do this, I can teach you in a few easy steps. So I am going to pull up a new tab and we are going to recreate the image that you see here. Okay, so to get us started, I have already gone into my Canva account and hit create a new design, specifically the size of an Instagram post. For step number one, I'm just going to change the color of this background and I'm just gonna pick a random color from one of my color palettes to get us started. Step number two is I'm gonna to go to my uploads and I've already uploaded the picture that I would like to remove the background from for this video. After I have the photo in the graphic and it's still selected, I'm gonna to go to the effects tab and hit background remover. Once I click it, Canva is gonna work its magic and there we go, the background is removed. Over here on the left-hand side, you'll see we have the erase and restore brush options. So for example, I could use the erase button and get rid of these flyaways if I wanted to, but I don't wanna do that, so I'm not going to, but that is a good option in case um, the background remover removes something that you'd like to restore or doesn't remove something that you'd like to remove. Next, I'm just going to click and drag this picture into the bottom left-hand corner because that's where I'd like it for this graphic. Next, I'm going to make sure that I've selected the image and copy and paste it. I'm on a Mac, so I'm just gonna use Command-C and Command-V, and there we go. We have a second copy of my face. <laughs> so I'm gonna move it here on the right-hand side and kind of out of our way so we can see this back layer on the left. Next, I'm gonna select that layer and hit the Effects tab again. I'm gonna pick one of these Duotone options and click it once and then click it again so I can see these settings. I'm gonna come over here to the highlights. I want my outline specifically to be white for this image, so I'm gonna make the highlights white over here. And then I'm also going to do the same with the shadows and move it all the way into the left-hand corner so it is fully white. Then I'm going to come down here and hit apply. Now that we have that, I can move this image back over and kind of stop wherever I would like the offset, like the shadow or highlight to be. And you could leave it like this, but I would like this to be a little bit larger than the image, so I'm going to move this over just a bit and make this image just a little bit larger than it was originally. Then I'm gonna take this image and move it back over here, and this comes a little bit higher than I wanted to, so I'm gonna select the one in the back and move it down just slightly. And I don't exactly want myself to be centered, so I'm gonna kind of move myself around just a little bit. And sometimes I find using the arrows allows me to be a lot more accurate in shifting my face around to where I want it to be. So that's what I am doing here is just using my keys to get myself in the position I would like to be. And that is how you can create a white outline or an offset shadow of your image it is so easy, but I had no idea that I could do this within Canva. And so I hope this quick video helped one of you watching. As I've been using Canva more and more lately, I have been learning a lot of little tips and tricks that I didn't know before. So if there's anything that you wanna know how to do in Canva that I could make a video on, make sure to leave it in the comments below. And if this video helped you, make sure to like and subscribe because I look forward to making more videos to help you all. I hope you have a great rest of your week and until next time, stay bossy y'all.